Yeah, my name is Alfred Moore, I'm from Zambia. Brilliant. So can you tell me a bit about your family background and life in Zambia? Well, the short version or the detailed version? The detailed version. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's going to take two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I was born on December 20th, it was really like 8, it was 8 December 1993. Yeah, when I was born, it was just about a few months later, my parents were divorced. My dad went his separate way. I was raised with my mom. And in around 2008, uh, July, my, my dad passed away. I just heard from sources elsewhere. I've never lived with him. I can't even remember his face. Then a month later, in August, September, my mom also passed away. From then on, I've been living with my uncle till this day. Do you have any brothers and sisters at all? Never had okay. any. Okay. Any of cousins and mm -hmm. friends, that's all. Right, great. So, um, how did you hear about Pestalot Senior Scholarship? I heard it the day I was, I was uh, called. I was called by um, the district, the provincial education officer to say you've been selected for this program. Then I was like, what's this program? That's when I followed him up to the office and then he said everything that was necessary for me to know. Brilliant. Were you excited watching what, what it was? I think I was mixed up. I didn't know what to do. Right? To, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> to laugh, to smile or something. I was in that state where excitement overwhelms you. Right. Yeah. And it's a big change coming to the UK, I can imagine. Very big change. Yeah, definitely. So you, are you enjoying it, being here? Very much, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So what have you learned coming to Pestalozzi? A lot of things. Uh, but the, the most prominent is how to associate with people who you are only tied up per se by only language similarity but in terms of culture, yeah. religion, you are totally different people. Now at first it was a bit rusty in association but now I can take everyone the way they are yeah. and then I think they are understanding me. Yeah, it takes time doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it takes it. time. <laughs> so how are you finding living in the UK? It's not much of a change. No? Not much of a change in terms of the environment is friendly. Right. Just like back in my home country, it's friendly. But a few improvements, not a few, but mega improvements <laughs> around. Yeah. Not the weather, though. Well, <laughs> I have not yet started fighting that <laughs> yeah. So, what does it mean being here? What does it mean to you? It's a great challenge. A great opportunity and also a great risk. I start with the risk. Yeah. To every great opportunity, there's always a risk of missing it. That's the risky part. It's a challenge because I be as far as it has taken me. It's quite demanding. Yeah. It's quite demanding. It's an opportunity. I mean, four out of the whole entire population of my country, only four of us were picked, and I was among the four. So if you look at the statistic, it's like four in a million, in ten million people. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so what do you want to do once you've finished at Pestalozzi? What would you like to do next? Well, kind of loose on that, but you know, the focus is on anything medical. Too many people sick in the world. Yeah. And to make a change. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.